Hi guys, it's Miss Ellen from Hopes and I'm here with Jaden. How are you guys feeling today? I bet you could have. Hurt. Neck still bothering you? Yeah. I'll go over there right to this. Maybe sleep without a pillow, right? Sometimes we don't have a good night's sleep, we're a little restless, our body hurts a little bit. Like we were talking the other day about we need sleep for our minds, our bodies, our souls, right? Our brains. Um, and today we are going to read another book in that series, Take a Deep Breath. And it's a book about being brave. I think we've kind of talked about brave before, but let's see what happens here. Nico and Ruby were going to school. Don't we wish we were going to school right now? Mm -hmm. Then Ruby saw Alex. He was taking Jet for a walk. Ruby did not like dogs. She said all dogs were scary. She hid behind mom. Right. Maybe you're scared of dogs. You used to be scared of dogs. Oh my gosh, right? So she's hiding because she's afraid. Yeah. Mom said that Chet was a nice dog. She said that he only wanted to be friends. She told Ruby to calm down and take to take a deep breath. I love taking a deep breath, but telling somebody to calm down, that can go either way, right? Ruby took a deep breath. She didn't hide behind mom. She even gave Jet a little pet. Oh, she's so brave. Doing something that she was afraid to do. Yeah. Right? So that's the first step in being brave is being afraid, right? Yes. Hmm. And is Jet biting her? No. At school, Andy had a swimming lesson. Miss Button and Miss Button said Andy had to jump into the water. Mm. But Andy did not want to jump into the water. He did not like water going into his ears. He said it made a funny noise. Mm. Do you guys like jumping in the water? Were you so you do now, but when you yeah. were little, you were afraid. And actually I still and I'm really old and I still remember probably I was probably about your age. Um there was this town pool and they had a high dive and I remember I would climb up to do it and then I would be petrified. That means scared. like you're frozen because you're so scared. Um, and looking back, it probably wasn't really deep. But anyway, Miss Button told Angie to take a deep breath and think calm thoughts. And he took a deep breath. And he jumped in the water. So brave, right? So not to focus on that thing you're afraid of, but think of something calming. Mm. Miss Button said Andy was very brave. And he was so pleased, and he jumped in again, and again, and again. So he was super afraid to go in the water, but then he took a deep breath, had a common thought, and was brave, and he really liked it, and he did it a bunch of times. Yeah. Cool. During recess at school, Dan cut his knee. He began to cry, and he told him to calm down and take a deep breath. Dan took a deep breath. Oh, it's like a bad cut. And he stopped crying. Yeah, and that looks like, scary. yeah, that does look scary. And that looks like a big cut there, like you said. Um, and it's important to, I mean, it is, it's okay to be scared, you know, especially if you're hurt. Um, but like your bike ride, remember that oh. really bad? That was just last summer too. Um, but then you got back on the bike again and we were so proud of you because that's something you could be really scared of. Yeah. Mr. Harris washed out Dan's knee and put a bandage on his cut. He gave Dan a sticker for being brave. Dan was pleased. So he was proud of himself for being brave? Yeah. And you know, sometimes when you get those really bad cuts, like you had cleaning them out, can oh, be really scary and so painful bad. as well. Um, but you were super brave. Oh my gosh. Um, and we all have to stay calm even when looking at it because we don't want to scare anyone. In the afternoon, the children put on a play for the whole school. But Josh did not want to go on the stage he did not want everyone looking at him. And I think a lot of us can relate to that, right? Yeah, stage fright. Stage fright, getting nervous, right? Just afraid about what people are going to, you know, you might be embarrassed, like, what are people going to think about me or what I did? Miss Button told Josh to take a deep breath and to keep calm. Mm. Josh took a deep breath and went onto the stage. Everyone clapped and cheered. Mm. So it seems like it worked out okay, right? Yeah. And I get where he's coming from, right? 
At story time, Miss Button got a book from the bookshelf. A spider landed on her arm. Miss Button did not like spiders. And I can tell you're getting nervous just hearing that word. Take a deep breath, said all the children. Everyone laughed. See, even you got a chuckle out of that, right? So the kids have learned. Take a deep breath to help us calm down. And they, you know, they reminded the teacher of that too. Do you want us to walk us through okay. this one, JJ? So, well, in number one, it kind of looks like the, the kids going up the slide, up the ladder to go down the slide, and then this little girl looks really scared to go up. Mm. Like, she wants to, but then she doesn't want to because mm -hmm. she's scared. What if she gets hurt? So then in number two, it kind of looks like she's all the way at the top. Like you said, like when we were going mm. on the diving board at the pool. And then the other kids are cheering her on and telling her to come down. And then she's getting even more scared as she begins to sit down. So she looks a little nervous there? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and our friends were on it and they look like they're having so much fun. Yeah, and like you don't want to be left out. Yeah. So number four, she finally slides down. She's still looking a little bit worried. And her friends are cheering her on. And then she comes down and she's happy. And they are proud of her. Because she took a deep breath. Yeah, that could be really... And, and she did it. And thought some, maybe some calming thoughts and calmed down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's tough because sometimes our friends are really brave. Or we think like, hey, it's not a big deal. Like, we climb all the way up there. And then you're like, oh, yeah. how am I going to get down? Yeah. Or if you want to get down, there are people on the ladder behind you. So that's a tough decision to make. Um, so that can be super scary as well. Um, and being brave is hard. Because, again, you know, being brave... That first step is being scared. Is yes, yeah, being scared and being afraid. Um, but taking that deep breath, you know, we talk about taking deep breaths all the time. You know, we do the in for four, hold for four, out for, out for four. four, and doing a couple of those, and that really does help to calm the body. And we've done the pinwheels before, um, and different breathing things to help with that. So. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we missed here. I really like these books because I feel like it really helps us to understand if we see other people's stories, um, you know, whether you're afraid to jump in the water or swim, right? And these are all things that we learn to do. It's not stuff that just happens, right? Mm -hmm. um, so practice, practice, practice. And if you're afraid, talk to someone. Um, if you need help being brave, talk to somebody because we're all here to support each other. To support each other. And if somebody's having a moment and they're not brave, don't make fun of them. Just be sure to. Like encourage them and say, it's okay, take a deep breath. Yeah, encourage them, take a deep breath together and support them. So we've got to all work together because um, sometimes it's scary out there and we can help each other be brave and, and take some chances. Yeah. All right. Be well, guys. Keep us posted.